Hey my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights and welcome back and hey to everybody that is new as well. So uh, I am currently on maternity leave. If you want to have the updates you can just follow me on Instagram. It's Mr. Love Tarot, little blue tick and I'll tell you the occasional days that I am working through the maternity leave period. Um, these are all pre-recorded okay so I'll probably put updates at the start if you don't actually know. I've, I'll have already done it. Um, but I'm not contactable 100% all the time, um, but you can message me and I will reply when I get a chance to. So what we're doing today are what are their next moves towards you. And I've got two decks for you to pick from. Let's not throw that off the side. This deck over here is the book, uh, the book of shadow. Yeah, it is. <laughs> getting confused. The Book of Shadows. And this deck over here is the Dreaming Way Tarot. One of my old uh, students brought me this one. Um, so, pick your deck. What are their next moves? Let's have a look. Deck number one. So, we're just going to go into your person's energy that you're asking about. As always, it works on the collective energy between you all, okay? So, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and don't sweat the small stuff. Okay, what are the next moves towards you? Like I said, if you need me for private readings, let me know and uh, I'll respond when I can. What are the next moves towards you? So I'm getting, as I'm going into their energy, I'm getting the Blink, I'm going to stop it for, I'm getting the Blink 182 song, Say It Ain't So, I Will Not Go, Turn The Lights Off, Carry Me Home. So, next moves towards you. First and foremost, that song coming up. They're not going anywhere. They're still lingering. If they've gone ghost, don't panic. They are still around, okay? They haven't gone 100% ghost. Um, so, so I will not go. That's the first lines. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. So you've got this kind of sexual energy coming up for you guys as well. And perhaps parties, celebrations, okay? So it could be weddings, could be birthdays, could be social events, could be dating, could be sex. All of that coming into your energy of their next moves towards you with that song. They haven't gone anywhere. They're still there. So your cards. Four of Wands. Six of Pants. Two of Swords. Hierophant. Okay. This is a sp strong spiritual connection between the two of you. Okay. It's strong. I've just written an article on this card for Witches Magazine. And it is all about the journey that you two are sharing together and you are sharing this beautiful journey with one another okay um the colors of this are very much about communication and about grounding energy we've also got desire coming into this card as well so their next moves are based on desire are based on connection um, and are based on the journey that the two of you are sharing together they're enjoying their times with you they're enjoying the moments that you two are sharing they're not a big planner Okay, so they aren't planning their life and planning their future and planning where the two of you are going to end up next. That hasn't crossed their mind, but they are thinking, let's just go over the flow of it and see what happens. The Herophim will also talk about anything that's been darker kind of coming to light as well. So it looks like communication is going to open up between the two of you and as they express what they want. Now, the expression of what they want leads to the Four of Wands, which is the celebrations. So your spiritual connection kind of coming with the celebrations of it as well. So it's looking very positive for the two of you to be together. But like I said, there's also social events coming up. You might just kind of be invited to the same place at the same time as the energy aligns with the Hierophant. Beautiful, beautiful stuff going on over here. So the cards, other two cards that you got were the Two of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So... There seems to be a need for balance within this connection. You might feel that things have been a little bit out of whack. So you might feel like they're putting more effort in or you're putting more effort in. You're not knowing where they stand. They're not knowing where you stand. There's been this kind of limited communication. Now with these two cards coming up over here, it suggests that open communication is going to come forward and movement will happen at these kind of celebrations. With the Blink-182 song at the start, I wouldn't be surprised if alcoholic messages come through. And and sometimes, I mean, alcohol can is a difficult thing for us to kind of talk about, really, but sometimes we do speak the truth when we've had a drink. So I wouldn't be surprised if you got a few alcoholic messages um, <laughs> or messages from your person, um, perhaps when they're enjoying themselves. Okay, so maybe not alcohol involved, but just be aware that that's a possibility. So open communication, 
is going to happen with you guys. Parties are going to happen with you guys. The giving and receiving of the connection over here with the Six of Pentacles as well. So we've got this balancing energy. We've got this. Yeah, so kind of Spirit just showing me. I don't really know how to explain it. It's a clairvoyant image and it's the energy of you guys kind of sweeping around and coming back forward. And it wasn't an infinity symbol, but it was like this whooshing of your energies. And that whooshing of your energies is the, the gifts of giving and receiving. Okay, so that progression reads between the two of you. Two of Swords, they're chilling with it. They're working out what's going to happen next. Okay, um, but they are looking forward to seeing you and they want to see you soon and they want to talk to you soon and they want to communicate with you soon. Um, going with the flow of it, as I've already said, but with the intention that perhaps things can move forward between you guys sooner rather than later. And on that note, I'm going to pull a different card for you using my cute little deck over here because they're staring me in the face. And it is what are the next moves towards you? Let's see what we've got here. What are their next moves towards you? So you've got Walker on the wind. The raven shows the way. Be courageous. Chains and chants can bring exciting wonders. So basically, go with the flow of it. The ravens are the messengers between worlds. And if you know me, you know I am a huge raven crow lady. My friend calls me the crazy crow lady, like the pigeon lady in... Um, Mary Poppins, okay? They find their way to me and they're the messengers and they often call in threes. When they do the three calls, it's a sign that the magic that you've done is working. Um, so the raven being the messenger between worlds over here. And again, we know that it is a spiritual connection. Changes are afoot and they're positive changes for you and them. Okay, so your best bet at the moment, hold fire and wait and see where you end up. But it looks like celebrations and parties and events are going on, even though not much is happening at the moment. It looks like you're going to get what it is that you want. Gifts of giving and receiving. Spirit are leading the way. So try not to control it. But say, right, you know what? You do it. You know where I want to be. You show me the pathway. Um, and you've got the, the party that kind of comes with it. Embrace the unknown, as the raven would say. And that's deck number one. Okay, guys. So I'm going to scoot over now to deck number two. But can I have a sip of water first before I lose my voice? So, we are doing today, what are the next moves towards you? And we're going into deck number two. So just, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I am on maternity leave at the moment, uh, but you can find me on Instagram, Mr. Love Tarot, for all the updates of what is going on. Um, and we're doing, what are the next moves towards deck number two? What are the next moves? So we've got King of Pence, we've got the Page of Pence. And the next moves. I'm going to stop at four as well. Two of pence. Let's see if we get a full house of pentacles with four cards. What are the next moves? Answer. Ah, King of Wands. Nearly a full house. So three out of four pentacles. This connection is based on stability, security, and this leads to positive outcomes. Whenever you're looking at relationship spreads and you see the pentacles energy, it is about establishing stability and security within a connection. So that's where your person's intentions are at the moment. And their next moves are based on stability and security and, and growth, you know, stable foundations to build a positive relationship. So with the king of pentacles and king of wands coming up over here, it's talking that there is a sexual chemistry. There is a sexual desire between the two of you. There is that bond, okay? But your person can see that this is also a longer term goal that you guys can be in a relationship if that is what you want. They also might be being influenced by other people with this connection too, because we also have Page of Pentacles coming in, okay? So there could be other people influencing the situation. If it is the case that that is happening, it's likely to be family members with the Pentacles, sorry, family members of Pentacles, friends with the ones, okay? So it could be people influencing the situation. But either way, it's not a negative. They're not negatively influencing it. Your person um, is going to be reaching out and messaging you whoop, with the page of pentacles as well. So communication coming in that is much more stable. You might get a bit 
frustrated with it okay because it might not be as fast moving as you want you might get an occasional message rather than being bombarded with messages but the reason why that is happening is to build those stable and solid foundations going on between you guys okay so stability security messages that's the next move for you um, I do feel they will talk to you about what they want in this and say, well, you know what, um, let's just see how we go. But I'm quite interested in seeing what happens between the two of us. Uh, I want to take it slow. Wouldn't be surprised if they say that to you. Um, I also wouldn't be surprised if they're like, well, I want to go out with the bros. <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if that happens too a little bit, this kind of King, one, King of Wands energy coming in. We also have the Two of Pentacles, which is about them just kind of balancing it all out. So they can see that they can have a future with you and it's stable and it is secure, but they just want to take their time with it and see what happens, see where you end up. Um, but they have got intentions of seeing where this goes, okay? They're keeping cool. They're keeping the cool on it. They're not going to come and bombard you with loads of messages. They're just chilling, chilling with it, but making those moves towards you, okay? You might find that it is frustrating, okay, because you've got the page coming in. Um, you might find, like, it's slow, perhaps a little bit too slow. You might get fed up with it. But at the end of the day, they're doing it because they want to make sure that you would be the right person for them to settle down with. And that's deck number two. That's what the next moves are. So slow, steady movement to see where you end up. I'm just going to get you one of these because I just did with deck number one. So let's get you one of these for advice. Plus the deck you. If this one says the fairy harper. Find the words to long forgotten songs and sat dance to the music in your soul. So if you are feeling a little bit low and everything's a little bit down, I suggest you go back to your older music put that on, put your headphones on, have a bit of a boogie. Whenever we dance, we raise our frequency. Or, you know, even if you can't dance, it's all about music and rhythm. Um, it's a great way to connect with goddess. Whenever I do magic, I, I, I do the music, the drumming, the singing, the dancing, because even though you can't, might not be great at it, it raises your frequency up. So this is talking about here, if things do feel stagnant, dance to the rhythm of your own soul and the energy will shift and move around you. It will transform. Great transformation energy. It goes back to that old saying that before kids, um, before kids learn to walk, they sing. Before kids learn to talk, sorry, before kids learn to talk, they sing. Before kids learn to walk, they dance goes back to that energy it takes you back to the rhythm of your soul and if you listen to that and you listen to that heartbeat of your own wisdom and guidance um it can move things forward it can really create and change those blocks that could be in your way so next moves from you then to you slow steady movement movement nonetheless um and it's on its way take your time listen to your soul listen to your own inner rhythm i love you all i'll speak to you later ciao